Welcome to Northern California at Sonoma Raceway for the Dynaco Light 350. This is the second road course in the schedule and the halfway race of the 2024 season. Let's take a look at our starting grid. In row 1, Cal Wetters, the racer who won last year's championship but is having a hangover year so far with Chase Racelot trying to get his first win of the season. In row 2, Ryan Laney and last week's winner, Lightning McQueen. In row 3, J.D. McPillar and his young teammate, Colin Bargain. In row 4, Daniel Suarez and Shea Hollis. In row 5, Phil Tankson and Bobby Swift. In row 6, Master Dragon 4000 and Jackson Storm. In row 7, Bubba Wheelhouse and Brian Spark. And starting in row 8 is Cruz Ramirez and Brandon Power Car after hitting the wall after exiting turn 10 during qualifying. Here's the race format, 6 laps, 12 miles around the 2 mile track for the whopping 12 turns and pit road speed is 40 miles per hour. The pace car is already off to the pits, and you're wondering why I said there's a whopping 12 turns around this track, because this is a road course, like I said earlier on when the show started. Alright, so some of the straightaways are pretty long, so you're going to go um, really fast for a long time until you have to hit the brakes later. It's showtime here in Northern California, the Dynaco Light 350 is underway. Ooh, some banging with the 24 and the 42 of Cal Weathers coming into the first turns. Chase Racelot already with the race lead with Cal Weathers has started in the pole. Cal Weathers made a block against the 24 Chase Racelot. And the, the 7 of Brandon Power Car has turned the 68 of H.J. Hollis. No caution. This is a road course so it's not really tight. It doesn't take him like a minute or so to uh, take a lap. H.J. Hollis is getting out of the turf, or the grass. Well, this track is usually green from the uh, inside because of in the spring or or whenever the weather is not very hot, the it's green. And Cruz Ramirez has gone through the turf, or whatever it's called. Cal Weathers still in the lead. Chase Racelot trying to pass to number 42. Here they come uh, through turn 11. Oh, contact in the hairpin. Master Dragon 4000 gets turned by the number 7 of Brandon Power Car again. And the 41 has some damage on the back. Lap 1 has been complete. Cal Weathers still in the lead against Chase Racelot, including Ryan Laney and Lightning McQueen. Colin Bargain trying to to win this race even though he was um, uh, more than a few minutes away from uh, Sonoma Raceway. I feel like he's trying to make his hometown proud. Here they come entering the chute. That part is really difficult because you don't want to hit that tire wall. If you hit that tire wall, you're done. Oh, contact already! Brian Spark goes for a spin in the shoot. Hopefully, he doesn't hit that tire wall. Oh no! He hits the tire wall and he's smoking. They're gonna have to throw out the caution for that. H.J. always almost, almost hit the tire wall. Here they come through the S's. This type of racing is interesting, though. Not to offend any awful lovers. I kind of like road course racing. Well, that's my opinion, so don't don't copy. Well, if um, you guys also like road course racing, just, just say in the YouTube comments or in the live chat. Okay, here comes Kyle Weathers trying to complete lap two. If Brian Spark causes the caution, we're going to have to go overtime. Four laps to go here at Sonoma Raceway. Cal Weathers still in the lead against Chase Race Lot and Ryan Laney. Oh, the caution is out. The 52 of Ryan Spark is heading to the pits. I feel like there's too much debris on the track. So, again, we're going overtime. So, we're going to have a two lap shootout with unlimited attempts. 
so we better make sure that there's enough cars to race or if there's less than uh, five or four cars the race is over it's been a hangover race twice for Brian Spark already here's what just happened so the 7 just turned the 52 in the shoot and like around turn 4A he got spun out and then he tried to escape him but instead I feel like his steering has failed and then he just hit hit that tire wall We're gonna have an onboard with the 52 of Brian Spark starting now. Ooh, the 7 just hit him in the back, and the 7 got some hood damage in the front nose. Brian Spark's smith has failed, and then that car is junk. Anyways, we're going to break. Since Brian Spark brings out the first caution of the day here at Sonoma Raceway. Welcome back to Sonoma Raceway, we're ready to go back green since uh, Ryan Spark hit the wall like earlier. Alright, we're about to restart double foul once we're in, we're exiting the S's. And this track takes pretty long to go around for a caution because you're going around the track for like about 5 minutes if it's a caution, if the caution comes out. Alright, Chase Race is going to be starting in the outside, so he, he might get an advantage on winning the race. And right now they're located in um, uh, turn 9. We got an update, Brian Spark is out of the race, they can't fix the damage on the car. Hopefully Brandon Power Car doesn't get too aggressive, otherwise he will be penalized. The pace car is off to the pits. There goes that blue Dodge Charger. And Bubble Wheelhouse is heading to the pits. He's going to be losing a lot of race position for that. He's going to be in 15th and be losing minutes. So it's going to be a huge loss for Bubble Wheelhouse. Anyways, here they come into turn 12. Through the restart zone. Two lap shootout here at Sonoma Raceway. First attempt of overtime, the green flag is in the air. Chase race a lot with an advantage from starting the outside, like I said earlier. Now Light McQueen is trying to battle him out. Brandon Power Car goes through one of the curves and he's skipping a turn. I bet he might be black flag for that, but we're gonna have a word from the officials. Hopefully Brandon Power Car doesn't pull off another du dirty move. Still a fight for the lead and then the 7 just turned the number 41 and Master Dragon 4000 for the second time. The, four, the 68 almost got loose and the 41 hits the tire wall. Dang. It's a shame for the number 41. I feel like they're off the race, they're going to try to repair the damage. He's going to DNF. Now here they come, entering to, through turn 11, Lightning McQueen versus the 24 Chase Race Lot. Lightning McQueen trying to go into a two-week race streak. Here comes Bill Tanks and trying to take second place. The white flag is out. The next flag will end the race. Doesn't matter if it's a caution or the checkered flag. We got another crash in turn one. J.D. McPillar gets turned by the number seven Brandon Power Car, and the seven of Brandon Power Car almost goes upside down. Caution is out. 
but the officials are gonna let them race back to the line. The 7, a brand new power car with a bunch of damage along with the 4, JD McKillar. The field just blows up right behind them. Still a battle for the race win. From the shoot. Through turn 7A. Now through the S's. It's Phil Tankson versus Lightning McQueen for second place. I bet they don't have the, the speed to catch up to the number 24 because the 24 has been dominant all day with the 42 at Cowboys, but the 42 has lost so much track position after the restart. Now, entering turn 10 and exiting it for the final time. Now, entering turn 11 and 12. All the way from Georgia, Chase Racelot is going to win at Sonoma Raceway. Now here he comes from turn 12 and he's going to take that checker flag. Congratulations to Chase Racelot winning the 2024 Dynacolite Light 350. Alright, we're about to see a replay of what just happened in turn 1 when the white flag came out. In turn 1, the 7 turned the 4 JD McPillar and then the 68 had nowhere to go. And it almost turned the 7 upside down. Imagine if he gone upside down, that would have been crazy. That onboard camera ride was scary. He almost went upside down, he just jumped in the air. He goes back and up, he is going to try to finish that race, which he just did, unofficially. Dang, the 7 almost goes upside down. Here are the official results. Chase Race lost the fastest car of the day. Next week, we are racing at Iowa Speedway for the Iowa Corn 350 starting June 12th at 4 p.m. Pacific and 7 p.m. Eastern. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This is the Canica Hearn 27 signing out.